Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be uh, once again talking about uh, design of experiments using full factorial design. So in this video uh, you can see the data here uh, is the uh, I'm, I'm trying to fit or try to understand uh, how thickness is dependent on uh, three of the variables time, concentration and speed uh, for spin coating a polymer. So here I have the actual experimental data that I've obtained. So the design that I've used here is uh, uh, there are uh, uh, speed, concentration and time are uh, two level factors and so there are three so this will be a 2 par k uh, or 2 par 3 uh, factorial uh, experiment but I also have uh, two center points uh, so overall uh, uh, all the experiments have been repeated twice so that will be 10 into 2, 20 data points so here you can see I have filled out the thickness value after measurement uh, let me just show that in the uh, DOE box. So as I mentioned before, there are like three variables. These are uh, each. Uh, these are all continuous variables. And there are uh, two level factors, and there are two center points, and the, I've repeated them once. So now uh, let's uh, try to evaluate this. So as I mentioned before, there are already scripts that are available on the left here. Uh, for example, if you click on the uh, green triangle next to model, this will open the fit model uh, menu from the analyze uh, menu. Uh, so here uh, you can see uh, thickness has been added as the Y response and uh, you have uh, speed, concentration and time as the uh, main effects and you have the two-way interactions between these. So if you want to remove them, you can select them and remove them. But here I do want these. Additionally, I also want the three-way interaction between speed, concentration and time. So I'm selecting them and adding cross and then I say run. So here you can see jump has done the fitting by default. So here uh, by default you can see that uh, the summary of fit and the analysis of variance are not uh, turned on by default. So I've turned them on. So for the time being, I'm turning off uh, these three. So here uh, first under the effect summary, you can see that uh, the main effects among the main effects concentration plays the most important uh, is the most important uh, variable uh, then comes uh, time and then uh, speed and uh, among the uh, oh, sorry th then comes speed and then comes time and then among the interactions speed and concentration uh, is the most uh, important and then you actually have the three-way interaction and here also notice that all the uh, in main effects, the two-way interactions and the three-way interactions, all of them are important. They all have a p-value less than 0 0.05. Under uh, summary of it, you can see that the R-square value is quite high, uh, 0 0.09. And under the ANOVA table, uh, you can see that uh, the p-value is uh, less than 0 0.05, F-ratio is very large. And here you can see that the model explains most of the variation and the uh, error uh, and the random error is around is, is very small and uh, under parameter estimates uh, you can see the uh, estimates for each of these coefficients and uh, under fx test uh, you can uh, again see the individual sum of squares for each of these uh, so remember that under the ANOVA table this is for the whole model so this says that uh, uh, any one of the uh, the variables can be important, uh, but here you can see the individual uh, under the FX test you can see the individual sum of squares. So from this you can tell that concentration is the most important variable, and then comes speed, and then comes time, uh, and then you have the speed uh, concentration uh, two-way interaction, and then the speed concentration time three-way interaction, and so on. The other important thing, uh, interesting thing that you can do with uh, this particular thing is that under the prediction profiler, you have something called as the desirability function that is open by default. And uh, you can actually change this by double clicking on this. And uh, so here, my response goal here uh, by default is maximized, but my goal here is to match target. And here, my value is uh, 50. Is, uh, 
I want that to be my middle value. Then here you can see that uh, the desirability function changes. And then if you, you can actually optimize the values that are required to get your desired value. So to do that, you click on uh, the rectangle option, go to optimize and desirability, and then say maximize desirability. So now you can see that for the required thickness of 50, the speed I would need is uh, the optimized value of the speed is uh, 3688.57 RPM. Concentration is 2.43 and the time is 10 seconds. And also if you want to play around with this, let's say you want uh, say a time of 25 maybe, uh, you can also manually you know, uh, play around with uh, the uh, the profiler uh, to obtain your desired value. So here you can see that uh, for a time of 25 I would need a concentration of 2.6 for the same speed or if you want to spin at a lower speed say 3000 and uh, so now uh, you may want to change the concentration in order to get the desired uh, desired thickness you want. So this is how you can use the prediction profiler, the FX test, parameter estimates, the ANOVA and uh, the FX summary. And sometimes in the FX summary, in this case it didn't happen, but sometimes you might have a, an additional variable that may not be significant. If that is the case, then you may want to remove that variable. And then uh, use the uh, prediction profiler to uh, maximize your desirability. So this is how uh, you can use the model uh, and then uh, you also have the option to evaluate design. There are various other uh, options that you can go through. And yes, you also have the DOE dialog box. Uh, you can add or remove variables as desired. And yeah, of course, if you make a change, make sure to uh, change save the table 